lean to the left. It's all right. I'll just lean to the left. There you go. I'll bring it down. Is that the phone? Oh, I get it. Ben, you're out of your seat. What's that? Hello there. Charlie's audio hooked up here, hopefully. How's that? Loud and clear? I'm going to do a mic check. It's roomy, aren't it? Okay. Good evening. I'd like to call to order the February 27, 2014, regular monthly meeting of the Scottish Sanitary District. Start off with a roll call. Dave Nelson. Here. Charlie Anderson. Here. Dick Rico. Here. Ben Viola. Here. Rob McSorley. He is here. Seth Garrison is not with us this evening. He's attending the conference. And. Sort of business is the approval of the January 23rd. Move January. approval, Mr. Chairman. Second. 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 Any errors or omissions? Uh, Mr. Chairman, I have a couple of items. Superintendent and Operations Report, Dave. Uh, <coughs> the monthly report of operations, a copy of which is in, was included in your packet um, for the month of January. Air from quality uh, was well within our permitted limits for all parameters, 91% and 95% removal for uh, BOD and TSS respectively. Those concentrations were 16 milligrams per liter and 12 milligrams per liter respectively. A copy of the pump station flows for the month of January is also included in your packet. As you can see, our flows were up this month due to snow melt and rain. Also, we lost a transducer at Fog Road Pump Station, which is the reason the, the, uh, for the reported zero flow in the latter pump part of the month. A temporary transducer was installed um, during that period, and a new one has, has since been installed, and we are now getting the flow data from that pump station. Uh, on May 29th, uh, on, on, May, on January 29th, um, Maine Power Options um, Internal Advisory Committee, uh, uh, of which I am a part of, uh, met with Patrick Woodcock of the Governor's Energy Office to get a better understanding of, uh, he wanted to get a better understanding of, um, of the uh, bidding process that we've been using for power, and so we made a report to him at that time. Uh, we continue with our Penn Valley pump uh, sludge pilot test. It has been installed for about a month now and appears to be meeting our expectations. On February 6, Matt Height conducted his biannual inspection of the wastewater treatment facility, including the review of the laboratory and the um, data. No concerns were noted at that time. I should be getting a copy of his written report shortly and will present it to you at that time. On February 17th, Willett and Associates completed their on-site work with regards to conducting our annual audit. No major issues were identified during that process. We should have that completed document for the next trustees meeting. Uh, we have started looking to the cause of the cavitation on the impellers at pump station six, and at this point it's only speculation. Several years ago, the sewers upstream of the pump station were uh, lined. Um, at that time, debris found its way into the suction bell, severely restricting the flow. Um, you know, in discussion, we thought this may have been the initial cause of some of the cavitation. Uh, we contacted Smith and Loveless, and we're going to have them analyze one of the, the impellers. We're going to send it out to them for inspection. In that conversation, they asked us if we would um, uh, pilot test one of their new X impellers that they're currently developing for uh, uh, for the, this size uh, pump that they have on uh, that we have at pump station six. So uh, they'll, they're going to do us a favor. We're going to do them a favor. Uh, Higgins Beach sewer plug on February 14th. We had a sluggish sewer on uh, Champion Street, which caused a backup within the gravity collection system in the Higgins Beach area. No overflows occurred. Uh, Public Works noted an issue um, and called the district, and upon investigation, we found the backup uh, immediately responded, jetted the sewer, which resolved the issue. Uh, today, I attended the annual legislative breakfast that the Maine uh, 
uh, Wastewater Control Association uh, puts on. It was an opportunity to present to the uh, main legislative body uh, what the association does and what our industry does and provide them an opportunity to ask questions. Um, the, this past week we actually had a, uh, some issues again with our SCADA system. Um, and we, we've resolved them and we've got the system up and running. It's fully functional. But one of the things in discussion with our um, SCADA provider is uh, our system is getting aged. It's, it's to the point that if um, one of the computers died or needed to be replaced, it cannot run on the, mo the newer version of Windows. So we've reached the point where we're, we're going to have to upgrade that in this, uh, uh, next year. Um, it's been one, one thing on my radar anyhow, and I've already started analyzing different uh, alternatives. And let's see, uh, another thing that has come up, we're going to have another Girl Scout tour this coming Tuesday. Um, a, a, a Girl Scout troop that pre uh, visited the plant, I believe, last year is returning. Um, again, I'd like to extend out to anyone in the community if they want a tour of the facility. We're always uh, very pleased to provide that opportunity. And with regards to the planning department, there's nothing uh, new on in front of the planning department with regards to the sanitary district that I have to that I haven't reported on already. So that is it. Thank you, Dave. Any questions for the superintendent? Ben. Just on the X impellers, what, what, what are, what, what's the difference of those? The X impeller is a new style impeller that um, Smith & Loveless uh, has developed for smaller pumps. It's a uh, single vane impeller. It is designed to um, be better at handling wipes and not plug as easily as some of the older style impellers. Every pump manufacturer is trying to find that magic impeller that doesn't, doesn't plug. And this is you know, they're trying to develop it. We've got uh, one X impeller already installed in one of our pump stations and it has, hasn't plugged since it's gone in. So um, their smaller versions seem to work. So they want to they're trying to market it to a bigger size pump. So. Thanks. Uh, on the uh, block sewer in Champion Street, is that a situation where there was a physical defect in the line that might, like a sag or something that might require regular no. maintenance? No, it doesn't, it doesn't appear to be. It, it, it was um, just in front of the, the, the pump station. Um, it, a lot of the sewers in that area are just very, uh, have, um, they, they don't have a lot of slope to them. And I think with the winter months, it just we didn't have a lot of flow to push a lot of the solids yep. down. And then what happened was we got a lot of flow during that heavy, um, one of the heavy wet uh, snow melts and a lot of water was just trapped in the road. Mm -hmm. And it, it just overpowered the sewer. So um, they do, do a pretty good job. They know where they usually have problems and they are mm -hmm. active at proactive act. Well, I know we had a, uh, I think it was Avenue 7 at Pine Point. We've got a low spot there. Yeah, Avenue SB. 7, they, they jet regularly. Yeah, and I just didn't know if this was something that we <coughs> ought to add to that list or not. Um, and um, is the increase in the flow um, due to the uh, Precipitation indicative of the need to do any follow-up infiltration flow studies or surveys? It's not at a level that would require that by any stretch of the, uh, the imagination. It, it certainly is something that we should keep an eye on as, as time marches on. Um, the, you, know, the, you look at the peak flows to the average daily flows, this, they're, they're really not, not that bad. We've got a fairly tight system. Mm -hmm. yep, thank you. Any other questions? Um, we received a uh, letter from um, Commissioner uh, Aho um, thanking the district for their attendance of the, the kickoff of the Save Your Pipes, Don't Flush Baby Wipes campaign, which um, 
I had reported on at the last trustees meeting. Next item of correspondence is the MWWCA February 7th. Mr. Chairman? Yes. It, it, it might, uh, I know people do actually watch us on this uh, uh, cable TV station periodically, so it might not be a bad idea if you just expanded on that situation with the flushing of wipes type of thing for anybody who might be watching. The, uh, I know we talked about it a little last month and mm -hmm. uh, made some comments about it, but do you want do to expand on it? Sure. sure. Um, I forget the, the, the date, but the... Uh, the Maine Wastewater Control Association and um, uh, the white industry have initiated a program to um, educate the public with regards to not flushing baby wipes. Um, since baby wipes has become a major issue for sewer blockage, similar to what I just referred to in the, uh, the X impeller uh, being a, a design that's trying to mitigate that, um, the, the state is intimately involved in this program. You're going to see some flyers at both uh, uh, out at Hannaford's and um, other locales. We also have them at the district. And it, it's a program that's really just, it's just to educate people with regards to <coughs> not flush baby wipes. Um, the educational campaign is specifically just addressing baby wipes. Uh, I would like to, at this time, state that the problem is actually much further beyond that. It's also Swiffers, um, uh, the Clorox, bleach wipes, uh, any, any, any of those materials that are, are uh, basically anything that is in toilet paper should not go down the sewer. Toilet paper, if you if you've note, disperses very, very quickly. Those other materials do not, and they end up getting, causing plugs both in sewers and at pump stations, which can result in sewer overflows um, and call-outs, which is a, very, a great expense for the district. Next item on the agenda is old business. We have none. New business. Next item, and we do have some new business. Three Washington Ave. Quantum Clean. Uh, Quantum Clean um, is requesting additional capacity for the Three Washington Ave facility, which was a previously approved for 2,600 gallons per day on December 20th, 2012. During the last quarter of 2013, Quantum Clean averaged um, 3,500 gallons per day. With that, Quantum Clean is requesting approval to discharge an additional 900 gallons per day of flow. Um, I recommend approval with the following conditions. The approved wastewater flow is limited, limited to the 3,500 gallons per day. Any future flows in excess of the approved amount are subject to additional approvals. And the capacity re reserve fee shall be based on the additional 900 gallons per day. Any future flows in excess of the 3,500 gallons are subject to additional capacity reserve fees. The cur current capacity reserve fee is 1407 per gallon and is adjusted monthly based on the ENR index. And with that, the total capacity reserve fee due is $12,663. Motion to, approve. motion to approve. Seconded. <laughs> a motion and a second. Any questions? None? All, right. All in favor of approval? None approved. We do not have any public attending this evening, so I will move on to I just want to uh, give kudos to uh, the superintendent for staying ahead of the issue with regard to the SCADA system. Uh, don't know if uh, that's going to be a significant capital item for us or if that's something that we're going to handle out of operating budget next next, uh, next I don't year. I don't have an answer for you at this time. I'm you know st at an infancy of what we're actually going to need. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Sean. Rob? Um, one, kudos to staff because we don't hear much about you because you're doing such a great job. Um, 
and uh, usually when we do hear about you, you're doing a super job. So thank you very much. Uh, congratulations to Charlie on his uh, recent retirement and his dedicated service to the public in the past few years. 30, 40, 50? 40, over 40. Yeah. 40, yeah. Wow. I hope I make it that long. I hope you do too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I uh, want to put a kudos out to all the athletes from Scarborough who have been competing over the last uh, several weeks and still competing. Uh, we have uh, several state championships to celebrate. Congratulations. We do have some athletes who are going to be competing in Boston at the New Englands this coming Saturday. Good luck to them, Hugh McSorley. And uh, also, uh, do we have any holidays? Oh, uh, uh, happy St. Patty's Day to everybody. Well, I just kudos to the staff for doing everything uh, the way it should be done, the way you expect it. And to uh, thank Quantum Cleaners for being uh, mm -hmm. very positive about uh, coming to the table with uh, the extra added uh, flows and uh, willing to work with us on it. Thank you. Nick? I want to echo our fellow trustees' comments. Congratulations, Charlie, on your well-deserved retirement. Good job. Um, congratulations to all the Saint champions in Scarborough and those that tried to get there and fought valiantly to do so. Appreciate it. Ben? Uh, no comment tonight, Mr. Chairman. No comments for Ben. I'd uh, also like to thank uh, all the employees and uh, all their efforts, and also congratulate Charlie on, again, a well-deserved retirement. Thank you for all your service. Thank you. All right. And with that, I'll entertain a motion for adjournment. So moved. Second. Motion okay. second. All in favor of adjournment. We're adjourned.